Hi folks, well, as I've got the cabin fever and the season's over, I did go up to the woods today and after a couple of hours just doing a few test pans. Now, um, I did find some gold, very tiny pieces of gold, so there is no big reveal at the end. But um, if you want to have a look at the journey and I'm trying to find another secret river, uh, feel free to look at the video. Uh, I have still got this to clean out. This is Emmetal Gold from the Knapp region, if you look, there's a website there as well. I bought this when I was at the Gold Washers um, European Championships, so I don't know what's in it yet. I haven't washed it out. It'd be nice if that picture actually was what's in it, but I doubt it very much. But I've still got to do that over winter. Uh, what I am going to be doing over winter is uh, building the sluice be a drop riffle sluice it'll be sort of based on the uh, sluice or the Mac Kirk, Angus Mac Kirk. because if I was to buy one here and import it it would cost me about 300 uh, US dollars no it's my tight northern blood so I'll make one myself <laughs> whether it works or how well it works will be another thing but that's for you to see and me to find out I've also got some black sand to wash out which I've been saving so I know there's some bits of really fine stuff in that so I'll do that as well over the winter when it's too cold and horrible to go out and dig in the river but anyway I'll get on with it and this is just a little bit of a clip searching for the new secret river part one nice to be nice so here we are in a secret location in Switzerland searching for the new secret river So, this is a bit of testing in here. This is the other side of the hill from the Secret River. Probably, I don't know, two or three kilometres away from there. The rest of the mining team's come. So, how long will be here and how much success we'll have? I do not know. So, I'm just going to have a little bit of test on here. A little bit of gravel's built up here. And uh, I'll just do a few test pans and see what we get, if anything. I'm quite confident there might be some up here. So, I haven't panned this out yet, but lots of quartz and river rock in it. So, hopefully, we'll have some gold as well. Quartz. Yeah, you probably can't see it, but it is there. Oh, you can. Two tiny little specks. Second pan. Just on this curve here. And it comes round on a big curve here. Zoom back, comes back round on a big curve here. So I'm just going to take a few pans up and down and see if I can find anywhere where I'm getting more than that. And I did go quite well, quite deep. I don't know how deep this goes, so if it is good, but I went the shovel deep. If there's any good stuff in here, which I don't see why there shouldn't be, it's the same forest as the uh, the Secret River, but as I said, it's just a different stream in that forest, a little bit smaller. It will get bigger as I go down there, but I don't know. That's farmer's fields and it goes into a village further down. But it could be well worth having a walk down and having a look, see what is down there. I like to be able to sort of pan in privacy. You get too many stupid questions. So, I just took another pan out of the same place. There is, uh, if I can zoom. Oh, let me zoom. Another piece, and now I just picked. I've just hit that stuff. I've just balled it up. What I found, what come off at shovel. I'm gonna break that up and uh, pan it. See if there's any more in it. Be interested to see if there's any in that. It's funny that that's white clay. Normal stuff here is blue or yellow. That's it's got a little bit of a bluish tinge, but in other river it's really yellow or blue. So there might be some gold in that. 
you will see. So I'm just having a quick walk up. There's all deposits along here. <coughs> that looks like a, some sort of low pressure point. I've got a couple of pans there and a couple of pans here. See if there's, I'm actually looking to see if there's any drops because drops are always best. <laughs> As you know, I like my waterfalls and drops. But we'll see what we've got in here. Other than mosquitoes. But it really gets quite small. I will have a look though. See if it's just dug into the valley here a bit more. So, straight back into that uh, white clay. I didn't find anything at other ball incidentally, but I'll wash it out, see if there's out in it. It's got stones in it and gravel, so potentially it should have got, well, could have gold in it. If there's gold in it, there's gold in it. But you can see, it's just that white clay here. As I say, it's mixed in with gravels, so it's obviously what's deposited. So I took one from there and cleaned all that clay out. Didn't find anything in that. Just took one here and there's again one little speck. If you can see that, I think you can. Shining gold. So it's in here. It's just finding where it's concentrating. Obviously, if they, if it's that size, you want <laughs> 200 per shovel, <laughs> would be nice. I'm, I'm guessing if it's all that, well, it shouldn't be all that size, but if, if there's a lot of it at that size, it'll probably concentrate further down where it's running a bit faster and it's actually uh, depositing. I'll just have a bit of a wash out of some of that moss. Oops. I'll have a wash out of some moss, see if I find anything in moss, because this is really wet here. Just walked up there, it's all boggy, so in high water, potentially it could be catching it moss. So, again, one piece off the moss. And another piece. Could be two pieces. Mosquito in my ear. That was just from there. So, what I'll do now, I'll take a bit. Yeah. I hear that. Now we're from this end here, I'll take a bit from middle and maybe at that end and see if it gets better. Because potentially then it could mean that any gold's laying up this bank. So, there's nothing in that one, nothing in that one. Uh, that one's got a little bit of silt and sand's caught up and that's got, that's just wooden pulp so, but it is there. I'll just have a quick look further, see what we can find. Again, a very, very, very tiny speck, barely visible to eye. You can see him. Focus. Minute. But as I said, you know, see, I think the best bit with this is going down river because anything that's moved. And got a chance to concentrate, I'll have concentrated on bigger banks. Um I won't be down there today, but I will go down at another when I have another opportunity, probably next week sometime, next weekend. Although there's a few more little creeks to test in this in these woods and all of them seem to have got gold in them. Just finding it once be nice gold. It's strange that the secret river has got sort of bigger gold. There I found some of the biggest gold I've found in, in Switzerland. So <laughs> it's rather strange, you know what I mean? I were hoping that all little streams will be the same round here and find some nice uh, 2mm, 3mm, 5mm pieces. I'm sure there might be some in here. It's just finding sweet spots. So, one pan, nothing. There's not a lot of gravel in it, to be honest. Straight back down to that uh, clay again. So, I'll have a quick wander down, I think, and then uh, call it a day. That's the other side of the road. I've just uh, tried one out of there from underneath. If there any bigger stuff, I think it'd probably be falling and staying in there. Well, it could be staying in there or blasting out there. So, I did a test pan up here, but I didn't find any. And again, I'm back onto um, the clay. So, I don't know. So, probably further down is better. As you can see, the farm's there. And it goes down into the village. 
I'll have to check it on maps and see actually where it goes into the village and see if it hits woodland again because I prefer just to have a bit of privacy when I dig I enjoy that better it's much more fun and obviously the golden ear is very very small so far so it's not uh, it's not a priority Secret River still got better than this at the moment